Roche explains how clinical pharmacology is driving the vision of the right dose for every patient. Joe and his project team at Roche want as many patients as possible to respond positively to a new drug they are developing. Since every patient is different, he knows that giving the same dose to all patients is not always ideal. But testing each patient on all doses and schedules is impossible. So, what can Joe do? Clinical pharmacology can help him deliver the right dose for every patient by combining clinical trials and modeling and simulation approaches during drug development. Modeling uses mathematics to characterize the relationship between patient, disease, drug, dose, and schedule. These models are based on data and the understanding of physiology, biochemistry, and pathology. They help Joe understand why patients react differently to treatments. Once the model is built and confirmed with clinical data, it can be used to simulate the outcome of doses and schedules that have not yet been evaluated. This helps to define the right dose for every patient, maximizing the benefits of the drug. For example, drug X has been studied in patients at doses of 5, 20, and 50 mg once a day. The data collected in clinical trials is used to build models that describe the relationship between dose, efficacy, and safety. The models are then used to simulate the effect of different doses, such as 10 or 20 mg, or even changing the schedule to twice a day. Therefore, Joe can predict when one patient needs 10 mg once a day and another patient needs 20 mg twice a day. Joe knows that if a patient has a genetic predisposition or liver failure or severe disease, they may need a different dose. While one dose may offer the perfect balance between clinical benefits and unwanted side effects for some patients, others may need more or less. This is why it's important to have the right dose for every patient. Thanks to clinical pharmacologists' quantitative approaches, Joe and his project team have a clear path forward to ensure that as many patients as possible will respond positively to their new drug.